So I have decided to join a little game jam and therefore I am going to produce, I hope, remotely regular development diaries on what I am doing. The jam is called Panic Horror Jam and it will be held for a couple of months. Therefore I have some time to make the game and hopefully uh, be able to push it within my work schedule. And uh, considering we are making a horror game, I will try to do kind of Resident Evil light experience. Uh, the theme of the gem is false safety. Uh, therefore, uh, the idea I'm going with is uh, the game will be mostly safe and the main danger will, will come from puzzles. Uh, horror will come from certain uneasiness and uh, certain vague occurrences happening during the gameplay with actual actual horror part coming by the end of the game where the player will need to choose uh, the ending. Uh, and uh, considering I'm going the Resident Evil route, I will need to make tank controls minimal inventory management, because not minimal inventory management will cost me several decades of my life. Uh, and the game will be small, of course, again, I have uh, just a couple of months, plus, plus my job will take lots of time in any case. I'm not sure whether I will be able to finish the game or not at all. However, uh, what I am trying to achieve here. I'm using Unreal 5 because uh, this is the engine I actually know somewhat. Uh, and uh, what will I do? I am creating a project and I spawn the basic elements of uh, the engine that I will need to work with. It's a uh, character blueprint, uh, future objects for triggers, for camera switchers, uh, camera viewer, uh, elements uh, for game mode, game instance, player controller, uh, the basics. Uh, of course main data will be stored in game instance object, but for now it is mostly uh, hollow. Uh, movement handling will be dealt with on uh, player character object, uh, and uh, Cameras will be handled with uh, our view objects that will be switched considering on which area the player is on each uh, level. I will not do any fancy stuff with uh, level precaching, level streaming and, and stuff. Levels will be switched uh, ha the hard way with loads. Uh, again, uh, this will allow me to do stuff a bit faster and use less systems in the project. Uh, and of course, for now, our character will be a cone. Uh, later, it will be slightly closed uh, female character, uh, because slightly closed female characters are the best type of characters. Uh, and uh, I will have to create a bunch of assets for the game, because I'm not a fan of using uh, store assets. And where, where I can, I will try to make my own stuff. But for now, it's all irrelevant. We must create some basic mechanics. And in this video, what I will do is make uh, progress on basic movement. Yes, we need to make our characters move uh, and rotate. And uh, considering I upgraded to Unreal 5.3, I was surprised to see that the old movement system I'm used to is getting deprecated and therefore I need to quickly learn the new system, enhanced movement system. It has some good stuff in it uh, because it's somewhat more uh, transparent. Uh, it indicates uh, better what actions the character can do and uh, in uh, Input customization, it allows for action negation in a more clear way, it allows for more types of input, and it allows to handle more stuff engine side instead of programming it manually. Uh, and plus, I'm sticking with good old 
uh, blueprints I try to avoid C++ as much as I can because again as soon as you enter the realms of the good old C++ your project begins to bloat new problems emerge and and so on and so on I hope still to complete it and uh, therefore movement of the character is handled in pretty simple way uh, I have inputs to rotate the character I needed some fiddling to get uh, the axis uh, coefficients right but in any case we just uh, rotate the character with the speed we set up in character blueprint and for uh, movement specifically we use character movement system to add input uh, for movement subsystem and just to push the character forward uh, so this is more or less uh, what I have done at this point the character can walk around rotate and uh, trigger camera switches uh, which are by the way handled with uh, specific naming uh, elements on uh, the camera and uh, the same naming element on uh, camera switch area which allows uh, to directly correlate each camera to each uh, camera switch area and uh, therefore just detect if the camera has on it uh, the name of the area you switch to this camera uh, the main problem is you can't cannot uh, say safely and stably trigger this event on spawn so I had to fiddle with it a bit more and first camera assignment will have to be performed uh, via level triggers I think I will later create some handler object with, which will do it in a more precise way and allow to they uh, manage cameras depending on which side of the area the character has entered but in any case uh, this is it for now and I hope the next diary will happen soon or not it really depends on my workload uh, everyone have fun and have a good day